Not sure ever anything has ever looked so perfect at <laughs> six fifteen in the morning, but oh. I could take a plane and go up there right now. Yeah. Yep. yep. But that's that's like the magic of it is that it's not easy to get right. to. You can't just watch this and say, so "Oh, I think both. I'll do that this weekend." Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. it takes time. It takes planning. Yeah. And uh, you know, I think that's something that we love about the state right. is when you want to be secluded, you can find a way. You can find a way. And that is that is that one is of the, the most definition. fantastic that's ways incredible. of finding yeah. it. Yeah. All right, Roland. Well, if you're somehow awake this early in the morning, no, I doubt it. I will. I will sit <laughs> on the passengers wing. Passengers who would yeah. like to go with if, you. If like yeah. there's a discount rate and like you have to sit on the wing <laughs> or like go where the luggage would goes, you pay, I'll I was go. Like, would you pay the baggage fee? Right. I will pay the baggage fee. I will pay whatever fee it takes to get up there. That looks like an amazing experience. <laughs> oh, pretty incredible. All right. Well, the weather's been good around here. We know. Uh, you know, we're obviously in the middle of July. We're expecting mm -hmm. triple digit temps, or at least that possibility, and uh, starting to see a little bit of haze settle in there as well. I noticed yesterday. Yeah. You know, some of that smoky haze that we usually see this time of the year mm -hmm. with the summer, well, it's starting to creep into our area. Mm -hmm. So our air quality could be affected by that. Just. Uh, letting people know about that, but we're waking up in terms of temperatures really mild today. We're in 50 degrees around that mark around the mountains and around 63 here in the Treasure Valley. Look at that beautiful sunrise just starting a Thursday nearly towards the end of the week, you guys. So starting off with what we can expect to see today, 96 degrees is that mark. This is around two degrees cooler than what we saw yesterday, so things are going to feel just a tad cooler outside, but it's still going to be hot. It's still going to be dry, and we're going to be seeing a little bit of that smoke and haze come into our area too. So if you have some sensitive lungs, just keep note of that. Uh, just be careful that that could be a possibility coming into our area. So taking a look at the future cast here, notice how things are really quiet. You can't even tell that I'm really advancing the slide here at this point because things are just so so quiet and, and simple because of this ridge of high pressure. There's going to be perhaps maybe a high cloud here or there and then the possibility of some rain and thunderstorms in the Nevada border, but certainly not affecting our area. And then aside from that, things are just going to remain hot and they're going to remain dry for quite some time because of that ridge of high pressure. However, we're going to have a slight cool down. And when I say slight, I mean by a few temperature degrees. And this is because of some cooler air coming in from British Columbia uh, around Friday night into Saturday. Notice how we dip back into 94 degrees at this point. And because of that, we're going to be seeing just a slight little nudge where our temperatures going in from the high 90s to the mid 90s. However, it's not enough to break up that ridge of high pressure. And because of that, we're going to rebound back into that high 90 degree mark just in time to start next week. So a little bit of a cool down there for the weekend. We're going to feel refreshing and then we're back into 95 degrees by Monday. Clear skies and sunshine. Now we're going to be flirting with triple digits both on Tuesday and Wednesday. We'll see if things start to heat up just a little bit more. But aside from that, just count on three major things for this week. It's going to be hot only a few ways. You can say that so many times it's going to be dry and we're going to be seeing some smoky conditions out there. So just keep those three things in mind. Uh, I'll try not to seem like a record repeating myself constantly, but <laughs> it's just tough. what happens, you and know, when it's in July. Yeah, at this point, we, we know what to expect and we know, uh, you know, we're just hoping that the kind of the haze stays, it limits itself as much as